The probability of compound events, you also have to stop and think about, can I have duplicates? Does the order matter? And in most of these cases, it's easiest to list out all of the possible outcomes, everything in the sample space, and then analyze if some of the choices can be eliminated or look for the ones with the order that you are seeking. <coughs> The probability of compound events, and what we mean by compound events, remember, is two or more simple events can be found using organized lists, tables, and tree diagrams. So I've taken one situation and shown three different ways that you could find the probability. A pizza parlor offers anchovies, mushrooms, pepperoni, and onion as toppings. What is the probability a random order will be mushroom and onion? And of course, we're assuming that they are equally likely. So if I were to list all these out, I've abbreviated A for anchovy, M for mushroom, P for pepperoni, and O for onion. I've listed all the possible outcomes. You have two toppings, and so a fundamental counting principle would say four times four because there's four choices for each topping and there's 16. Now within those 16 though, some of these will be eliminated. Somebody's not going to call and order um, an anchovy and an anchovy pizza, or somebody's not going to call and order an anchovy and mushroom and be upset because they received a mushroom and anchovy pizza. So as you go through these, you would have to eliminate some of these. With the list, I didn't list the duplicates of AAMMPP because I knew those wouldn't work. But I did go through and cross out the ones that um, have the same letters, just in a different order. Anchovies and, um, anchovies and mushrooms, mushrooms and anchovies, because like I said, if I were to order a mushroom and anchovy pizza, that's no different than if I ordered an anchovy and mushroom pizza. So after I mark those out, I look to see how many of those fit the criteria, mushroom and onion, and that would be one of the six possibilities. With a table, I did the same thing. With the table, you'll see that I have 16 full outcomes here. Here I only had 13 because of, um, if you think about them as, in, as dependent events, it would be more like 4 times 3. Here I also marked out the duplicates, A-A-M-M-P-P-O-O. And then I marked out the ones that are replicated, A-M and M-A. Because like we said, anchovies and mushroom is the same thing as mushroom and anchovy. Now, as you look there, what we are looking for, a mushroom and onion, is right here, and that would be a one out of six chance. Or I also have the tree diagram, and you can see where I, in the sample space, only listed the ones that aren't duplicated, and there's mushroom and onion. That's a one out of six chance. example where the order does matter. You have three girls, Bonnie, Karina, and Diane, and they line up in random order for batting practice. What is the probability that the girls will line up in alphabetical order? Here I'm going to choose to use something more like a tree diagram to show their order. So if Bonnie were to get in line first, behind Bonnie could either be Karina or it could be Diane. And then past Karina, that would leave Diane, then Karina. So it could be Bonnie, Karina, Diane, or then Bonnie, Diane, Karina. If Karina got in line first, it could be Bonnie next, or it could be Diane next. And that could lead to either Diane or Bonnie, which would give us Karina, Bonnie, then Diane or Karina, Diane, Bonnie. If Diane got in line first, she could be followed by Bonnie or Karina. And behind Bonnie could be Karina, or behind Karina could be Bonnie. So that would be Diane, Bonnie, Karina, or Diane, Karina, Bonnie. So what we're wanting to know is the probability that these girls are in alphabetical order. So I need to look what are the number of lineups in order. And the only one that is in alphabetical order is this very first one. So there is one 
lineup that fits that criteria. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six possible lineups. Here's some for you to practice with. You can use either the organized list, you can use a table, or you can use a tree diagram. Just make some sort of diagram. Don't throw random numbers together. Actually plot this out. Look for repeats. Think about if the order matters, and then determine your probability.
Okie dokie. That one took a while. Move this down. Okay, so for practice A, it says Kelly and Polly are in a five member singing group. What's the probability they would be selected to sing a duet together? I chose to use a table with this one. So along the, I guess you could say the Y axis is person number one of the duet. The other axis is person number two. In this case, the order does not matter. And when I made my table where it became Kelly and Kelly, Polly and Polly, person number three, person number four. By the way, I designated Kelly as number one and Polly as number two. It doesn't matter what the names of the other three people are, so I just named them three, four, and five. Well, it wouldn't be a duet if it was the Polly and Polly duet, so I eliminated those. So there are 20 possible combinations here. Of those 20, two of those give you a duet between Kelly and Polly because Kelly and Polly is the same thing as Polly and Kelly. So 2 out of 20 simplifies to 1 over 10. On <clears throat> practice B, letters A, R, T, and S are arranged randomly. What is the probability the arrangement forms the letters rats, tars, czar, or star? And that's this big monstrosity right here. I made a tree diagram. As so you can see, I started with an A, an R, a T, or an S. And then when I go to my next letter, I can choose from R, T, or S. And then for the third letter, I have choices of T or S. And then the fourth letter is just whichever one isn't chosen. So that's how it was organized. You can kind of rewind and see how I was doing that. In red is my sample space. And if you count all those, there are six combinations for each letter star. Six, 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 and six which gives you 24 possible ways to arrange the order of those letters. Of those 24, 1, 2, 3, and 4 result in the spelling of rats, tars, czar, or star. And 4 over 24 simplifies to 1 over 6.